button hey everyone welcome again to my youtube channel but if you're new here hi welcome my name is lillian and today i have this fine girl here from naja oh my naja introduce yourself oh yeah present present <laughs> representing hello guys welcome to lily Ogini's channel my name is kina Bife, and i have a youtube channel called Bife's space guys i miss you all so much i don't know if you know me hello. from lily Ogini's channel hello. because that time i used to always grace her channel you've been on my channel like twice oh, twice no. yeah just twice are you sure we've not really been filming together and no. a lot of people have been asking oh what a be fair you guys still friends i subscribers do ask what a be fair oh we oh. see you with people and we don't see you with them again well, what happened well, but we can't be on our channels all the time oh, like my we get, God. but i'm always here Ask we you. are friends like we are always seeing each other like almost every week Ask i think the longest you. we've gone without seeing each other is like one, or, or two. two weeks yes Ask but we don't have to always work together i mean you have your name to bear my my friend they stay on your lane i got mine the last time you came on my channel was like um it's many months ago many, many like months zemba ago. january somewhere around january yeah right yeah I'm glad to have you here again. Thank you. And for how is life treating you? How have you been in Ghana? God has been faithful. That's what I can say. God has really been faithful. I give all glory to God. And you know, God has been bringing people. I know I have not been, you know, up to expectation. I've not been up to expectation how? in the sense that for myself, mm, okay, not you don't anybody. feel like mm, you've been doing enough. Yes. I feel like I can do better okay and it's a challenge I'm giving to myself like I was telling you earlier mm, mm. so yes but God has been faithful thank God yes God has been bringing genuine followers genuine subscribers genuine lovers my way yeah mm. we are going higher we are not going Congrats. to remain here yeah mm. you won't remain no one remains mm. down mm. as long as you put in the work yes so um you went you schooled in ghana how old are you in ghana since you finally took okay, i want to leave here okay a year plus a year and a few year. months oh really yes. uh did you notice any changes the since the other time you came when you were a student oh to now ah there are changes so some of the changes are online some are offline okay so i'm going to take them differently okay oh online mm. that's on social media okay i would say that time i wasn't mm. really a social media person i watch youtube videos but i don't really care what nigerians are doing in ghana or what's mm. happening in i don't really look in depth into all those stuff so i didn't know the energy that was online mm. you get mm. but right now that i'm on you, the social media present here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's happening why, why are you calling jehovah inside my sister <laughs> hmm. the things i've been seeing with my eyes the things i've been hearing with my ears are mind-blowing yeah <sighs> the energy has been different i was like thank god i did not know all these things so that time yes thank god i did not know all i these told things. you i said thank god i did not you know i when i came to ghana i traveled carelessly like a child i was happy i was fearless i was doing everything i was everywhere mm. i was excited thank god i experienced all of that before like you traveled all the travel i traveled all the travel. because i think i would have been afraid of traveling if for me I, f I feel like why why the energy why that negative energy because the energy i'm seeing on social media is different, different from what i'm seeing off offline social media. <laughs> you understand <laughs> so i'm like who are these people on social media why are nigerians and Ghanaians always at longer head hmm. on social media hmm. it was my daughter's birthday and did you notice anything here i mean offline no 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 people came now okay that's why i wanted to so who are these people that came for the party? Oh, Ghanaians. <laughs> My neighbors. Ghanians. Like neighbors, you know, even the people I forgot to invite, they came, they right? Came. Mm -hmm. So what is I don't understand. So do you, get do you think if they have that <laughs> hatred for I us swear they would have Nigerian. come if we dislike ourselves as much as we do on social, social media, media, I don't think they would have they come. They wouldn't have come. Yes. People I, are doing experts. I feel people because you cannot see the person face to face mm. they easily throw 
you know, negative comments. Some of them, I'm not sure they even mean what they are saying. If they say a Nigerian what? or a Ghanaian physically, they Don't. won't be able to say all those things they are saying. Some of them just want to type I, I think, I think the inter internet is scamming mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. Right? It's true. That one, dear, it's true. I used to say it that if you want to look at, if you want to listen to only what you see on social media, hey, you, you will, get lost. You will dislike it. Like, yes, it, you will go lost. to war. Anyways, that is that. So, now, are you among the Nigerians that moved from Nigeria to Ghana to become YouTubers? Honestly, I did not plan on relocating to, to Ghana. <laughs> I think I've said this severally on, you know, my videos. Okay. It wasn't my intention to relocate to Ghana, like the second time I came. I, I was supposed to just stay for Oh, yeah, weeks. you said you mm -hmm. came to just relax a yes, little. Yes, relax. And, and then, yes, and then there was some business stuff I wanted to do and mm. then go back. Okay. Uh -huh. That was the reason why I came, or those were the reasons why I came. So my intention was to come and go. I just carried one box mm, mm, to come mm. and do what I want to do and view my motherland. You know, Ghana is our second you connect home. again. Oh, with your I missed Ghana. I missed everything, that. the food, everything. So I just wanted to come and enjoy all of that and go back because I had the life over there. Mm. But as God may have it, maybe this is where God wanted me to be. And he would always find a way to bring you to align exactly. to his purpose. Or what's or the plan that he has for you. So when I came back, before I know, two weeks passed, three weeks passed, <laughs> one month. You just didn't feel like, like going back or what? No. It's not like I don't just I didn't just feel like so going back. I happened? saw opportunities. Okay. Here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I saw opportunities. Oh, YouTube? You Not YouTube. <laughs> Business. <laughs> Business. <gasps> if, okay, you didn't know me that time. Yeah, that time. Yes. Know if you, you knew me that mm. time when I came, I, 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 I saw opportunities. Okay. Someone, I know someone in the comment section now will say, didn't you see opportunity in your country? Calm down. <laughs> Why you calm down? So yes, I saw opportunities and I was like, oh, let me let me harness on mm. those opportunities. And already I I had opened my YouTube channel in Nigeria. Okay. So all my YouTube details, mm. everything about my YouTube is Nigeria. So I opened mm. my my YouTube in Nigeria. Yeah, I remember I shot, you having to pick up your having to ask someone to pick up my, your Google uh, access yes, for you in yes. Nigeria. So my my YouTube was opened in Nigeria. My mm. first video was shot in Nigeria. So my intention was just to come to Ghana. You see, I didn't even have the, the mindset of YouTube when I was coming to Ghana. Mm. If not, I would have done my return to Ghana, like on YouTube. Mm. I would have shot a if video. If that was what you yes, had in mind. Yes, that was right? my intention. I would have shot a video. Coming back to Ghana. I, Ghana I did my return yes. to Ghana, but... No, like I'm telling you that mm, it was for you. YouTube was not on my mind. Although I have shot one video mm. it was just like something i wanted to do passively yeah youtube was something i wanted to do passively it mm. wasn't like something i wanted to do actively so okay it wasn't on my mind i just wanted to go that two weeks and come back and then continue my youtube hey <laughs> because my main intention for my channel then was about food and health because that's where my interest mm. is or that's where my interest lies i just wanted to go and come back as like i said you as god may have it i'm here <laughs> Since then, I've not gone back. Okay, so do you have any regrets so far? I should have gone back. Oh, not, not like I should have gone back. Oh, but I will say I miss home. That's what I will say. Not like I would have yes. returned back. No, I've not had that kind of okay. regret. But I'm just homesick. You know, you want hmm. to go home and reconnect with home. home again and come back. You know, but not like I regret coming to Ghana. Nah, okay. I, I don't. I don't regret it at all. I'm, I'm even grateful and thankful to God for that step. When I look at when I look at it, eh, I just see that it's God that wanted it to happen. Mm. Because you can't just relocate from one country to another just like that. Yeah, just like that. Just like I did. I did it like this. So it's, you, it looks so for easy. me. For me, because it was I was I was having my whole life in Nigeria. I had my apartment. So imagine. You having your whole life, and you say, "Let me just travel to Zimbabwe." The same thing happened to me now, my friend. Yeah, I, just, I had I, I recently, like before I moved to Ghana, I just rented an apartment in my hometown in Ogoja. Mm. I left my where I was before to the new apartment. I was still strategizing ah, how I'm going to renew the rent because everyone around made me believe that ah, that money is too much, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was there. I rented the apartment in January, moved in that January. In f On the 1st of April, I came to Ghana. I said, okay, let me just 
make her go home because my mom was telling me ah, you're always unhappy go back don't you think you should go back to your Ghana and I'm like okay I packed my bags and I came back just to cool come off. and cool off like let me just come and cool think again because mm -hmm. everybody was telling me oh you are a lot happier in Ghana you're a lot happier in Ghana mm -hmm. so I said let me go and find happiness so I came back here and before you know it but why were you a lot more happier in Ghana? I don't, I can't, I can't tell. Up to, mm. I don't know if it's a light here or something. Okay. A lot of my um, followers then that are, you know, been following me from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So when I came to Ghana at some point, they were telling me the I'm same. happier here because okay. they've been on the journey with me. They've seen me lived in Nigeria. They've seen me lived in Ghana so they could tell the difference. Mm. So when I came truly, truly when I came, I started to feel better and before i knew it me that just say make her come see what in the happen they i get stay. money to rent out <laughs> just like that like okay what excuse do you have now this is what you have always wanted to do to you get it by the way this is not an interview like on one person this is us having, having a conversation, a conversation. Mm -hmm. i'm like okay this is what i've always wanted to do because i remember mamule and i she always tell me okay what you should do is come to ghana we will help see even if it's a room a single room we can get you so you can get your kids you guys come and live in ghana mm -hmm. since you want to be here that's my ghanaian friend mm. and so i honestly speaking that time i came to ghana i didn't come here because i wanted to move i wanted to relocate at that time okay but it just like okay. the opportunity just Opened landed up. in so i took advantage of mm. it mm. so um for like for you, you didn't come to Ghana because you want to live here to do YouTube. The same mm -mm. thing with me. Mm -mm. I came to Ghana. I left Nigeria finally because my country, I felt like the electricity issue was disturbing me. Because mm. if, I, if I was living in Nigeria, I would still be doing YouTube. Mm. I won't work mm -hmm. for anybody. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anybody that moved from Nigeria to Ghana, to Ghana with God the sole YouTube. aim. For the sole aim of YouTube, YouTube making it becoming a YouTuber because you can do this thing in anywhere. Nigeria, right? Anywhere. You can do this thing while I was in Nigeria. I was still talking about Ghana because mm. this is what I know. You wouldn't know, you wouldn't know that the person is not even ah, you wouldn't. If I don't want people to know, I won't mm -hmm. tell them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that is that. We know Nigerian is in Ghana. I don't think there's any Nigerian. I'm not sure. I don't they think they came here for another purpose yeah. and, then, and then they went into YouTube. We have a lot of YouTubers that are Nigerians that stays in Ghana. Do you know that? But though mm -hmm. they don't make their content based About on Ghana, they Ghana. have different yes. niche. Yes. Mm -hmm. Though I didn't come here with any skill that's okay. Oh, I came here because I wanted to work with Chevron. Or I wanted mm. to work with Shell or something. But I came here with, I'm a YouTuber. Anywhere I like. Anywhere you find yourself. Yes. But I didn't move to Ghana because I wanted to. Mm -hmm. You were the one that opened my eyes to the possibility of making money out of YouTube. For me, I enjoyed talking to people. Okay. I love interacting with people. Uh -huh. So YouTube was just like that means for me to interact with people. But wait, would you have been doing YouTube consistently like you're doing if if you're not earning any money? Even as I am earning my sister. How many <laughs> times I this post hard. video? <laughs> it's hard. No, like I'm I'm just telling you, mm. not because I'm not trying to say that oh mm. I can survive without YouTube. Mm. Debbie, I beg. Please. Edjo. Should I need that people should come and YouTube subscribe to my channel? Because you have our life. Please. Me, YouTube is the beginning and I the beg. end. Thank subscribe you very much. to my channel. <laughs> Turn on the bell. If I let like, I post video, please. I beg. I need you people. Patrick? No, but what I'm trying to say is that mm. would you have do it? I would have still continued been doing, doing it like because seriously? When I, when, yes because when i even when i even reached out to you mm. i reached out to you because i wanted to connect with people okay you are not the first youtuber i reached out to okay. i reached out i just wanted to connect i'm that type of person mm. i want to connect i want to network okay so i was reaching out to youtubers that youtubers that i can you know collaborate with mm. and i think you were the second person that responded to me the okay. first was i forgotten his name okay so i collaborated with him and then i now collaborated with you so for me it was something interesting fun when i see people's comments mm. it's interesting to me i'm like hey, hey, person when you know me they watch my video mm. yeah then they 
when they want to fight me there I, I didn't even know how to block people you were the mm. one that taught me you can block people mm. you can delete their comments me I'm, a, I'm the minister of block <laughs> so yeah. i didn't know all of that for me minister i was enjoying the clues <laughs> of youtube you know people that you don't know watching you mm. you know saying oh your, your content was nice so this was all they would start you know t discussing the topic mm. i i loved all of that when i saw the 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 possibility of making money out of it i was like people are people are really missing out on this so but how much money are people making on youtube for small channels like us like so much money because i feel like lately it has been exaggerated lily which kind of question is this? do you think like people are making so much money like i know people are making so much money i know people on youtube some people, yeah? yes some people are making Mr. Beast, who doesn't know Mr. Beast? <laughs> Look at this girl. Miss, go and go and check Mr. Beast views. Millions. Uh, Just be calculating you. I'm talking about small channels, my How friend. Much? So my, they are making people are making money. Like small channels like us, do we make so much money? Like to build houses and <laughs> Hell. live extravagantly. Lily, Lily, what? There's a protest going on in Nigeria. My country, yeah, my beloved your country. country. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? I think it's the right of the people. Okay. Do protest. you think it's the right time for them to protest? I don't know if there's any right time or there's a time that is not right. If the people feel that they are not okay with what is going on, they have every right to protest as long as it's a peaceful protest. They have every right to protest. It's their, it's their fundamental, it's one of their fundamental human rights. Yes and we also have people protesting against the protesters in nigeria what do you think about I, this? I, I don't think i've experienced something like that before where, i don't think i've experienced where people are protesting against the protestants but, but no but it's happening i'm not saying i know okay i know i haven't read something mm -hmm. just this morning mm. i just I, I read something but what i would love to say is that even if you want to protest against people that are protesting please don't do it violently you can protest if you if for me i totally condemn it mm -hmm. yeah that's division i mean what is that oh yes it, you know you what, know what nigeria is, what, what you know it is normal let me tell you why it is normal because as long as we have different people even mm -hmm. if they are even let's take for instance siblings mm. it is normal for them to have conflict of interest like Mm. two different things you mm. want this want it to go this way you want it to go the other way but in as much as i want it to be this way and you want it to be this way let's not disrespect ourselves in the process let's not hurt ourselves in the process let's not harm ourselves in the process mm. so okay. do your thing so they are both right in this they case should, they should do their thing the they people are both that right, are saying right? the people the, the people that are saying they don't want a protest they should bring out their strong reasons okay. i don't have i don't know their reasons mm. i've not read it mm, they said because everything in nigeria is fine tinubu is doing amazing in their words mm. not mine mm -hmm. uh tinubu is doing amazing so mm. the other people should go go back home and forget but about do you, do you know that do you know that during covid mm. so many people suffered a lot of people suffered so many people lost their jobs okay so many people were hungry mm -hmm. but still that COVID period a lot of so people got people, their breakthrough so in as much as in the eyes of the world it wasn't the best time because it benefited those people they'll feel like whenever they are talking about COVID they will talk about the year that they had their, their best breakthrough year. yeah that would well, be their best year though but we then now say okay because it was my best year COVID, COVID come back no you see so this is a, like some people that, are okay because they I, have personal connection maybe with the political party in power or the president in power they don't care about what others are going through okay because they can some, easily assess um funds to get food or get whatever they want they want they I get know. the security they can pay for it so but the other majority don't have access to these things i know some some of those anti-protesters mm. i know it's purely political some of them or will i say so this most of them means... and then some few can say it is because of what they experienced during and sas they wouldn't want something like that to happen again because the lives that were lost 
Mm. <laughs> Nothing was done about it. There was no justice for anybody. So you think they are protesting against the protesters because they love said, them so much, they want to secure their lives? I said, most people mm. will do it because of the political affiliation with the current political party. Mm -hmm. And some people can do it. I'm telling you, I'm giving you reasons why I can do it. Okay. I'm just thinking mm. outside the box why I can do it. I've not seen anything online mm. why people are doing it. Uh -huh. I'm just thinking outside the box. Mm. And some other people might think about it in the sense that because of what happened during NSAS mm. and lives were lost, we don't want lives to be lost again. Maybe we should look for another way around it. But some people too, it is based on their political affiliation with the current political party. Mm. You get so now we don't know. I think topic. this means um this means more woes for Nigerians because a lot of people rather we are not on the same page, right? Mm. It simply means we are not on the same page at all. I mean, we are not united. Mm -hmm. We, I think the only time Nigerians are united is when they gang up against other African countries on social media. <laughs> yeah, on social media. Because you, what you, is this? You, you won't say that all Nigerians gang up against I, I didn't other say countries. all Nigerians. Mm, it's the same. It, I think it's Just like thing. it's not all Nigerians are demanding for their, you know, for a better living for Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some Nigerians are demanding for it while other Nigerians are sabotaging that demands. But do you know that there so, are people that are not affiliated to any of the political parties that wouldn't see ones that ends us? No, but Sorry, so because of, so that means the the politicians have uh, so what they are simply trying to want us to accept is that we should live in fear because if we go out to protest, then go by us. Not be so. No, how you mm -hmm. think I'm now? If they are not doing it to protect the politician or because mm -hmm. they are benefiting directly, so mm -hmm. now they are doing it to protect us from being paid right the people so that means they want us to accept and live in fear of being quiet by our own leaders mm. right because that is... the last time people did it see mm. you see when it comes to political issues I, you know me i don't like to talk about it no this is you're not being uh did you say pdp or apc we no, are talking no, no. about our country yes. here. Mm. the reason is because maybe i've been that person that don't have interest in government matters. It's not about having interest in government matters mm -hmm. because you're Nigerian. We talked about the social media mm -hmm. disagreement that mm -hmm. happens between Nigerians, uh, and Ghanaians. Nigerians and Ghanaians. And in a way, you are affected. I, I, you understand we are all in affected. it. But you weren't the one that brought the issue upon. You didn't start the hatred, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But you go collect your own photo to inside. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Mm -hmm. So this is the same thing. Like, now what they are telling us to do. I'm saying this because you were saying this could be mm -hmm. reasons why they don't want to protest maybe they are trying to protect the protesters from going out to get paid don't you think we if we do that we have been defeated it simply means that they will now anytime we want to go out to demand for our rights they will tell us remember mm. answers mm. So we we'll now go back if, and if, continue to suffer. If you realize, if mm. if you remember, I said, in as much as we are having anti-protesters, ensure that you are not harming the protesters. So everybody have the right to protest if you want to. Mm. If you want to come and do anti-protesting, or you are you are protesting against the protesters, please at the same time do not harm the protest because we need nobody to, should be violent but we parties. need to strike a balance people are fighting for their rights mm. these ones that are saying don't protest they know their interests these people that are saying we want to protest they know what they are fighting for do you understand <laughs> <laughs> so some people when so they are both in right. their mouths mm. i think they, some the anti-protesters are food wrong. is in their mouth uh, <laughs> mm. some people when food is in their mouth they they don't care if if other people others, have it or not are okay oh wow do you understand mm. there are some people too they also feel the pain of others even when they even have when it. they have mm. it in their mouth do you understand so you cannot really you cannot really go to people's head to put in something what like, you this believe your own ideas you, yes Everybody have their right to their thinking, not to. Hmm. But in as much as you want to take up a decision, ensure that you are not hurting okay. the other person. I'm also talking to the protesters. As okay. you are going out, as we are going out to protest, ensure that you are not harming. Hmm. When you see the anti-protesters, leave them. Let's... So moving from there mm -hmm. to the other, what do you think is the reason why people don't return home like that? Our people, because a lot of countries complains that they complain all the time that we don't go home. We don't go home. Why do you think is the reason for that? I think, okay, 
I'm going to answer this from two perspectives. Okay. One, I think some Nigerians are not patriotic enough. Okay. Some Nigerians don't love their country. There is something I've learned from Ghana. In the process of doing Ghana content, Ghana mm. videos, I've got to understand them more. I've gone to interact, I've come to interact with them more. I understand a lot of things more from them. And I've learned a lot of things from them. And it's just like the way I also say they should learn from us. No, nobody is a castaway. There is something to learn from everybody, even as a child. Mm. You can learn something from a child. Don't be too proud mm. to learn. If you have to come down to learn, my dear, come down and learn. Don't say Nigeria. Nigeria is a good, uh, mm. don't learn. Or Ghana, uh, don't learn. If there's something you have to learn, you should learn. There is something I've learned from Ghanaians. They are very, very patriotic. Even when they are outside, they are interested in the political affairs. They are interested in um, the well-being of Ghanaians in Ghana. They are interested in what is happening. What generally what is happening in Ghana. They are informed. And I think it starts from their nurturing when they were younger, when they were in school, okay. when they were in secondary school. Let's mm. take secondary school for instance. Mm. Do you know that an average Ghanaian knows his or her roots very well? If you call an average Ghanaian, that average Ghanaian can tell you where the name Ghana originated from. I remember that I put out a video on my channel where I went to Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Center. Mm. And then the tour guide said something about how the name Ghana was formulated. Kiniko, kiniko. And I was thinking, oh, that's the way it was formulated. And then I put it out. Nah. Mm. The Ghanaians left every we'll do other thing that they were supposed to do and blasted that tour guide. Okay. And they were like, that's not where Ghana originated from. And okay. they were giving me history. And it's like almost every Ghanaian have an idea of where they are coming from they have an idea of their roots so that makes them always connected to their roots and i don't think that really happens in nigeria i don't think we take our history seriously. so seriously the way like the way Ghanaians do because if you know where you are coming from it's just like hmm. i remembered when i was living for ghana one thing my parents told me do not forget where you are coming from so even when i came to ghana i ne see <laughs> you knew you is it that way you go back home that word do not forget where you are coming from that is what they've imbibed into ghanaians so it helps them to love their country so so much to cherish their country because it's like they know their history they know their roots so i think that's one thing that is lacking in nigeria let's start from the basics we don't teach our children mm. to love and value the country an average when uh, abigail and what okay yeah, abigail, abigail and, and afronita when they went to is that american ghost talent or britain mm, ghost mm, talent mm, any of them british got talent do you know they carry the ghana flag how many if you watch those videos <laughs> that's true if you watch those kind of videos how many countries carry their their flag when they are going on that platform mm. but those, those legends mm. they carried the ghana flag they represented the country that's to tell you how much they value the country i was so proud when um fola fola that just finished with the largest drawing in the okay, world Guinness Book of yes Record. Mm. yes although i don't know if he has been given the the, the mm. award okay, yeah, but okay. yes he has, he's done with the drawing okay i loved when he finished that drawing first of all he drew it on the nigerian flag i was mm, very proud okay. It was the Nigerian flag. I was very proud. Secondly, when he finished that drawing, he lifted up the Nigerian flag. I was very proud because that's not what I am used to in Nigeria. But Yoruba people are trying in, in terms of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not like the average Nigerian mm -hmm. is not what we are used to. The average Ghanaian, if you go Ghanaian person house, you go shout yeah, something it, about so Ghana. They can even paint. Yes. They can even paint their building. Yeah, they they, they, they love they love their country yeah, so much. They love so their country I think love. that's one thing we are lacking. Mm. So when you leave the country, you feel like mm, you've disconnected. Yeah, there was nothing even connecting you with the country yeah. apart from the fact that you were born there. Do you understand? So what, what comes to your mind now will be like to go and get your family members out from there. Remove them. Remove them. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
is well. So I have learned so honestly when mm. I started doing Ghana videos, I I have always now want to go home. Oh, for Ghana me, it has taught always me, been. Ghana taught me to love my culture. Do you know I never knew the cloth that was affiliated to River State. I started mm. researching. And then I found out our cloth. And oh, I'm like, really? okay. So, okay. This is, I love this. Like I said, you know, valuing. Wow, okay. That's what Ghana has taught me. And I cannot wait to go back home to showkiz Hmm, my culture. culture. Do you too. understand? Yeah. That's what I'm going to tell. It's Ghana that taught me this one. Really? Ghana taught me this to love. Wow. For me, I've my... living in Nigeria was difficult for me. Like it was not growing up. Mm. All this um, time, you know, as you're trying to navigate life and all that, living in Nigeria was not one of the things in my mind. Neither was it for me. Right? Neither was I have always me. wanted to be there. But just that the country just will frustrate you and make you want to run away but even when i left even living in ghana and loving it here i have never felt like i don't want to go home mm. you have always won like i have that you know sometimes i want to go but when i think of all that made me left in the first place i'll just okay make a day now you understand do you do you know mm. if you ask me some questions mm. about my culture when i mean my culture i'm I'm tracing it back to Ogoni. Mm. I cannot say. Really? The reason is because I wasn't so much interested, right? So I didn't ask a lot of questions. I wasn't taught in, mm. in school that this is what Ogoni is. I even learned Ogoni is affiliated to Ghana. Like yeah, they, you've they, they said migrated that from Ghana. I want to now go back and, and trace. ask questions and trace. Let me know where that is really coming from do you get because when you look at it in the book i'm not seeing mm, you're, you're not, not seeing that. where exactly it's coming from so i want to go back and she's not saying questions. that ogoni people are ghanian okay? no, 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 no so no, no. please clear that head no. please clear, clear that no. okay, we're still dealing I'm, with other tribes i'm not, um, I'm not saying we are ghanian so uh, no, no, no. they are not based on history it's just like the way they say some tribe in ghana originates from nigeria mm. Kiniko. Uh -huh. that's the same way i read in my book when i went reading that okay. the Ogoni people migrated from Ghana but there's no I've researched and I've not seen eh. the roots the roots roots how we moved and which part of Ghana uh, let me know like it will just help me to be well informed so that when people meet me and they ask me where are you from Ogoni tell me about the Ogoni people I will have so you mean you don't know any say. history about the Ogoni including this uh Saru Wiwa, no no, Ken, no not Saru those Wiwa. ones those okay. ones are the ones they teach in school okay okay mm -hmm. I'm talking about real Indian yeah, history how you, that makes you where you migrated stand from out. And all that. yes mm. about where you come from like your real origin mm. I really want to know like it will help me to connect well with my people mm. Mm -hmm. and with my own and appreciate and appreciate them more. so much yes. i've always appreciated ukele i feel like my people are just one of the most amazing people in in the world like they are nice okay my people are, mm -hmm. good. Okay. <laughs> are good yeah so living outside of nigeria has not been that i love i'm, I'm i thank god i'm here but i wish i'm living in my own in ukele Mm, yeah, yeah, I wish I live at home, but then that's not in the mind of um, in the head of every Nigerian and Do you think that is why people feel uncomfortable having us in their spaces? Like they, they don't have so much connection with their roots. Okay, and then secondly um, They feel it's not peaceful enough for them to come back. You see people want to people want somewhere that is peaceful they want to be sure that when they come back their safety is guaranteed mm. so when so the, they, they feel threatened when they feel their, safety their life threatened, threatened yeah. they wouldn't want to come back so you wouldn't blame them some of them they are homesick okay but do you think that could be the reason why mm -hmm. nigerians all over the world are uncomfortable because already we are dealing with the racism issue and all mm -hmm. that for against all blacks regardless of if you're Nigerian or, Nigerian or not and then now we are dealing with that among Africans you know mm -hmm. you get it so do you think that could be the reason people are uncomfortable with us in their spaces or 
or you think i see you see culture differs okay if you are a Ghanaian and you've been to nigeria before you realize that the nigerians that come to ghana they are not acting they're it's what? not acting that they are doing okay they are displaying the real them okay and when i mean they are not acting mm. you see the they are too forward they are too loud mm. okay they don't have any they they not they do not have any they don't adjust it's not like adjust How? i you see there's a difference between um when you go to rome behave like the romans mm -hmm. when you go to rome behave like the romans doesn't mean that you should throw away your personality okay do you get mm -hmm. i'm mm -hmm. not going to change my personality mm -hmm. that's it that's to say this is not me if i that's to say i am pretending but i can adjust in the sense that if this particular place they wake up around 5 a.m and where i stay before they wake up around 3 a.m i will not try to adjust okay let me be waking mm. up around 4 30. even if i wake up, up around four. three because i'm used to it i will mm. find something that will keep me <laughs> you know so you see generally the way nigerians are i experienced that when i came to ghana for the first time okay. and i stayed in ghana for i think a year before going back to nigeria if i'm not mistaken and then staying in ghana i saw how calm how reserved how calculative they are they have no they don't like stress mm -hmm. and it was already rubbing off on me like i started behaving very very calm and besides potakot is a very very <laughs> agile <laughs> yeah state so you know coming from such a place and going to a place that's very very calm and because i was way younger and i'm someone that adapts a lot mm. so i became very reserved and all that going back to nigeria it wasn't easy you struggled the first day i enter as the bus landed and i brought down my luggage from the bus one person carried one of the bags <laughs> the other person carried the other one to the other side and then the and calmness that i was doing please I, and you need a, you just need one thing to get these bags back together what is that to shout now <laughs> oh, hey, uh, yeah hey, me that was doing calm you know somebody that just yeah. landed now you want to be speaking ghana english please please hey i'm going <laughs> brethren i screamed my voice cracked instantly because it's been a long time i raised my voice oh. that i screamed i ran to this other person dragged my bag ran to because the, they need to see just Chris dawned for them to me. understand it just dawned on me yeah you are, you back, are home. back home so home we'll is move home all those is... ghana soft life and all those things sit up sit up if not they will run you streets do you understand so it's like somebody that has been built in that kind of environment mm. for years and you're stepping out you don't even understand that when you are making phone call and like your voice is so loud you're disturbing the other person your voice is too loud you're causing noise pollution you are disturbing people because they are used to it they don't even know it's just like someone that works offshore like mm. on rig where machines are always on and the person is used to screaming when the person is talking mm. the person is talking to someone here but the person is screaming when that person comes out from that place and the person wants to communicate automatically the person's voice is loud and so the person is normal. He's normal now. Oh. I, I, I didn't talk loud. It's, uh, that's my voice, you mm. know. Now I'm not talking about the I'm not talking about the bad things that people do. I'm talking about that gra gra lifestyle, mm. you know. So when Nigerians go into other people's country mm. and they showcase that, they feel like, oh, you want to come and but please, who should okay, you think it has nothing to do with it's with not about them not the, going home. No, it's, it has everything to do with their how they display is over is there. Is their upbringing? Is the Nigerian upbringing? Uh. Like we are. We are aggressive so and when we go outside some of us that displays, they're brought up in a calm way you hey, have no choice true. but to be aggressive when you go to yes that's what i'm saying when you want to mingle that's in what, the society that's that's what i'm saying that it's just few but if you if you grew up outside mm. my dear you have to be aggressive you have to be aggressive so when they come out of the country go and mingle with other people and they they struggle. portray that you feel Oh, these people they just want to ride on us. No, no, right? no, no, no. Just take it easy. Some of them, you if the person is your friend, call the person and you know talk hey, tell to the, the person. person that. Yes, the way you the person can explain something to you. The reason why the person is like that. I have tips for you though. Maybe I'll tell you offline. Like okay. if you want to go to Nigeria, mm. for me these are the tips I use. Mm. My coping mechanisms. mechanisms. 
and they are when i live here once i land lagos like this because i have always been traveling you know traveling via the land so when i get to lagos i just change i no longer smile and i no longer you know when you look at my face it's you will not strong. be able to approach me so you will this like one it helps you save you the stress so you mm. don't have to shout next time mm. anyways you can send me mobile money for that <laughs> free of charge all right you've been here for a whole year now mm -hmm. and no plans on going back finally like relocating back to nigeria right me like this mm. Do you have if any plan? God wants me to relocate back to Nigeria, I don't have a problem. Yeah, but God gives us what we want sometimes. So you're Oh, I love it here in Ghana. Honestly. So you're going to be here? Yes, for now I'm here. For now I'm here. I don't have any plan um, relocating back. Because relocating is stressful. Okay. Because me relocating from Nigeria to Ghana, it, it wasn't easy. Mm. Me, me saying that Ghana is peaceful, Ghana is this, Ghana is sweet, didn't mean that you struggled when you I didn't struggle i guess mm. everything was just rosy for me no i went <laughs> you wish you ask yourself I, I, am i homeless why don't i just go back home and just you know mm -hmm. but you realize that you're you're fighting for something mm -hmm. right and it's so what fighting for mm -hmm. so you just tell yourself oh let me just go Try. through it everything cannot come come on like on bed of roses so mm. you just have to so relocating is not it's not something that you just carry your kaya and just be moving it's, so it's not easy so for now i'm here in ghana and i'm happy to be here nice the last time i we had, we had an interview then it was more of an interview the first time you came on my mm. channel i talked i asked you mm. if you were dating and you said no mm. so a year later is it up to a year um we met in august i think is it a year already you don't reach one year now wow happy I mean, anniversary, anniversary baby um, <laughs> now then you were not dating according to you so now mm. one year later are you dating brethren brethren i always tell you my relationship life is always private <laughs> why the other time you told us you were not dating my, now you don't want to talk about your relationship my life my relationship life is is private i think if i want to bring out my relationship life mm. at the right time you guys will know no problem we respect mm, for, that for now i i love my relationship life to, to be, be private. private now why do you think um african americans act mm. this way anytime they come to africa hey y'all so i'm out here in zimbabwe in arhari and look at the grocery store they got a grocery store it's beautiful it's beautiful in a grocery store. Look at these. Organic strawberries. This is what I love. They sell sugar cane. And it is fire. They got the dates on deck. How much are these? $67. Right there. The price is different. But it do look like it's expensive. Look at this grocery store. It's huge. It's absolutely humongous. In Africa, baby. Yeah. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Africa. Zimbabwe. Uh huh. Oh, baby, I'm not man. Oh, I just like the mystifying shit. I think um, some people are not informed, and it's very important for people to travel. That is why I say you can't just stay in your cubicle and think you can judge a whole country, a whole nation, a whole tribe when you've not even traveled there. To see for yourself so most of these people they listen to what they see on social media that's why the information we put out on social media is very very important because that's what the world is going to see some people may not have the opportunity to travel around the world but maybe the information they get on social media is what is going to you know um, mold their mind towards that particular group of people that country so sometimes the information they get about africans is totally different we don't know the information that was given to them 
because um when i visited cape coast and i went to what's the name of that park where they do keep the slaves and all of that when the story was told and i started reminiscing on so many things i'm like do you think these people when they carry them like that they are going to tell them africa is a nice place <laughs> africa is a good place a place they are going to spoil their mind towards their own people do you understand if it was good why did they sell you to us mm -hmm. so you don't know what or was i the one you? that come to kidnap mm -hmm. you i wasn't someone bought you brought you and i bought you right so you don't know what was told to them that is making them react that way and all those things have been passed on from generation to generation to generation so it's just people that are open-minded mm. that will come back home the curious ones that to come back and, learn to... and know what really happened so Guys, it's just like when your forefather tell, or your grandfather tells you a story. Is that story your forefather, your grandfather told you that you're going to believe now? Yeah. What if it's not the truth? But he has told you and you've believed it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens. So how have you been so far on YouTube? How has life been treating you generally? Mm, life been good. I thank God. And um, I did a series on YouTube, which I believe you we were together then right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're together and at some point we were catching up with some of these videos mm -hmm. and all that it's been good creating content and living in ghana for me it's been good before now because i was just like a child doing everything i love just you know but then gradually i started to realize that the content we put out there impacts people in maybe positively or negatively, mm -hmm. then I start to want to just be careful with what I put out. I still love it here. That's, that's, that's one interesting thing about mm. this content creating. Yeah. It reaches out to people. So one needs to be very, very careful. Yeah. The content you put out because when you put it out, you can't, you, you can't take it back. It. Yes, I'm, I'm really concerned about something on YouTube. Okay. Yes, I think this is the first time I'm going to say something like this. Okay. And maybe the first and the last. Okay. Um, I don't appreciate um, hate on okay. YouTube. Because I feel hate... You, I feel YouTube is a platform that is supposed to be used for learning. Like I said earlier, um, foreigners, I mean Ghanaians in the diaspora, they love to watch foreigners in Ghana do things. So if God, every opportunity that has been given to us is been given to us by God. Mm. God could have used someone else, but if He has given you the wisdom, the knowledge to know about YouTube, the grace even know about YouTube, because there are so many people that they wish they know something like this that they will harness on but they've not even come to the realization that they can do something like this so if god has given us this um, platform yeah. this platform to, to, to we reach should out to use people. it wisely we shouldn't use it to throw hate so i used to wonder sometimes like let's see go make people rich 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 we can they fight ourselves mm. for youtube like the way you helped me grow on youtube did i that, yes now like you know when i reached out to you and i collaborated with you you know my mm. channel went up i got my 1000 subscribers i got my watch are you get mm. that is what we should be doing helping yeah, each, each other. other to grow and not backlashing each other i feel we should we should preach you can you can't be telling me to to be living a certain way and you you are not living that way mm. do you understand i feel we should promote more of love than hate than hate somebody will just build up a channel just for hate mm. no these are the things i was doing before now when i see these people that build up a channel just to hate on other people on other countries i will take it upon myself you know fight to stop it stop it thinking that i was doing the right thing i didn't know that these people will go back and come back for for me for me i just and the people the internet will still be laughing at you yeah and for me i'm glad that i did the school series and the hospital series in ghana because i wanted one thing to pass out that i wanted to silence this i got myself into it because i i wanted to prove to them that it's not ghana here do you understand mm -hmm. they don't be your mates you see when it comes to ghana and nigeria especially what i'm seeing on social media when i see people hate on ghana or mm. hates on nigeria i mean vice versa mm. maybe a ghanaian hating on nigeria or a nigerian hating on ghanaian 
or on Ghana, I feel like they are not open-minded enough. You should understand that people have their ups and their downs, their highs and their lows. If you remember when I was saying something earlier, I said you should be open-minded to learn mm -hmm. when need be. Everybody has something to learn from each other. When I go to Nigeria, I can showcase something that I feel Ghanaians can learn mm. or Ghana mm. can learn. Now it is left for Ghanaians or Ghana to be open minded to, to learn. Be willing to when learn. I come to Ghana and I showcase something about Ghana and I said, ah, Nigeria can learn, it is left for Nigeria to be open minded to learn or to let it go. Growing up, I realized that you cannot use aggression to change people right someone like me i would say that if you want to use aggression on me there's this work. there's this force i want to use yeah to defend, to defend to be defensive yes and... so but you can show you can tell me to do something with love but if i if i like people don't like some of the videos i do here where i say hey a nigerian a shock or shocked whatever to see something in ghana uh -huh. You know, some Nigerians come in to be like, hey, stop that nonsense. We don't care. You understand? I didn't say Nigerians. I say, hey, Nigerian. I'm talking, I'm referring to me. And then you also have Ghanaians coming to tell you, why are you shocked? You people are always shocked, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes, most times, you didn't say Nigeria do not have this thing. You only say, wow, look at this beautiful school in Ghana. You get into trouble. What do you have to say about that? Okay, for, for that, I think people have the right to their opinion. I think it's inferiority complex. No, people have the right to their opinion. <laughs> people have the right to their opinion. Okay, mm. that is why, uh, well, since I learned how to block on YouTube, it has been something very, very useful. My hands has been really, really, really useful. Been working. Mm -hmm. So when I see that you are acting insensitively, mm. I block. I, I believe I'm talking to intelligent people that should be able to sit down and reason. So I'm not talking to you because I want to backlash you or I want to talk down on you. You cannot love Nigeria more than me as a Nigerian. People don't understand that YouTube is a media. Mm. Okay, so it's just like newspaper, your headings must be catchy. So if I am saying in Nigeria, I'm not now bringing down mm. Nigeria. You should but watch. But I am it. Like what change? I'm a should, Nigerian. You should watch the content. Eh, to understand. based on the content. Not on I'm the not title. I'm not going to insult Nigeria. <laughs> I will not give a title and say Nigerian, uh, Ghanaian schools are better than Nigeria. I can actually do that. Yeah. Eh, me, I'm not going to do mm, that. Me, I can okay. do it. So if, the, if need be. Eh, me, I'm not going mm. to do it because I feel these are two different countries you mm. can't bring our histories together like there are two there are people it's just like two people raised from different homes mm. different upbringings there are two different people do you understand there is something good about these people there is something good about these people there is something bad about this yeah if the other people something don't respect themselves people. i can actually bring the All other the thing people, that they, they don't, don't respect have themselves, be it nigerians be it ghanaians they don't, <laughs> some of them don't respect themselves oh, God. because some of the ghanaians that come and insult i blocked somebody today calling people kwasia but damn this on my channel that I is spreading of hate right too. That's I someone on a mission to spread hate. That's, that's a Ghanaian. I also see Nigerians come on my channel and even insult me in Nigerian. You I know, watch them. video, you just... They would just go there and insult. I block them. So, the fact that a Ghanaian came out to insult on my channel doesn't mean that all Ghanaians are insultive like that. Okay, now... Do you have any advice? Because we keep seeing this. Eh, they don't come. They move to Ghana to become YouTubers. They move to Ghana to become YouTube. They run away from Nigeria to become YouTubers. And I believe there are young people watching our videos and they are thinking the same thing. What do you have to tell them? Nigerians wanting to relocate to Ghana to become Ghana. How do they even call this niche? Ghana content, happy? How do you <laughs> God, please give them something. Okay, first of all, like I said earlier, hmm. Ghana has helped me to love my country. Okay. To cherish my country. I, I didn't love my culture, hmm. my country this much, like I love it now. Okay. I think the kind of content I've watched on YouTube, the way even Nigerians bash Nigeria on YouTube, it would have made me hate Nigeria, hmm. but it only made me love Nigeria and looking for the way forward 
I've learned a lot from Ghanaians. The way they travel out and they want to come back home and try to better the country. The way they go f go to, you know, improve on their alma mater, their, their school, where they graduated from. You know, they go there finding something to do to make sure that to the give people... back, yeah? I've, I've learned all of that. I talk about it on my channel. Okay, I've not talked about Alma Mata or something, mm. but I watch that on your channel. Yes, and I've learned. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of those videos. Yes. Like, I, I love I, the fact that I was able to put that side of Ghana mm -hmm. out there. Because mm -hmm. myself, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So I, am, I have learned mm. those things. So when you watch videos on YouTube, it shouldn't make you hate your country. Learn to love your country. Don't say you want to move to another country just because... <laughs> She's being sarcastic, why you, okay. Why will you, but why will you move from one country? Yeah, because maybe they heard that some of us that are here, we did that. The head that we came to Ghana I'm not for sure the sole aim of being their head because there are so many videos out there, comments. Most of people those say people, there are people that are already living in Ghana. That for me, I was already a YouTuber, like from way back. I started my YouTube channel in Nigeria, and then something came up that brought me to Ghana in 2019. I told you, right? Mm -hmm. So when I came in 2019, yeah, why not? I continued. So because there was um, electricity, so it helps me to be consistent. Mm -hmm. And then I went back to Nigeria. I got monetized. I got monetized in Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. I started earning from YouTube back in Nigeria. So... Mm -hmm. You don't expect me to abandon that when I move from Nigeria to another country, right? But my sole reason to of moving, my sole reason of moving to Ghana was not to be. I didn't come here because you want to be. I want YouTuber. to come want here to and become about. a YouTuber. I can actually be anywhere and everywhere and talk about my experiences in that place, or to still talk about Ghana in the yeah in. Um, in that place. So my reason for coming here was not because not based not because I want to be doing YouTube videos because my own country was sabotaging me my effort to create yeah. job for myself because mm. yeah I choose to create something for myself. So if you want to go into YouTube, you can do YouTube in Nigeria. Yeah, you don't need to to, say come, you want to, Ghana, to come to Ghana to, for to that. Ghana content. What is Ghana content? How long are you going to go? Like, for real? I have seen people venture into this You'll get niche. frustrated at a point. You'll get frustrated. And they, they think it's easy. We are getting the views because we are talking about Ghana. Really? Me, I used to, like, really try it and see. Ghanaians will watch you for a while to hear what you have to say. Okay? Then after some times, it becomes your brain that will be keeping people on that channel. It won't be because they are talking about Ghana. Yes, for the very beginning, of course, people come watch because uh, Ghanaians want to hear your point of view of them if they need to hit the street for, for a protest or they need to come for you, they'll do it. Mm -hmm. After that, you have your brain to rely on. That's what people don't know. So if you want to start doing this, our niche, please, you're welcome. But be prepared to... And don't have more to offer. Start insulting Nigeria. Uh, how are you warning us? <laughs> don't come here. But who does that? Like, do I people really insulting. insult Nigeria? Like, l be honest. A lot of people have accused me of that. You, you are sitting next to me. Mm. So, do you think I insult Nigeria? Nigeria, you, Nigeria in my video. You, you know me. I used to tell you this one off like calm mm. down. I used to tell you <laughs> calm down. I used to tell before now, mm. before all these things mm. happened. You know, I used to be open to you because. You, you, if I just wanted to create content with you and mm. go after we finish collaborating, I'll say thank you, thank you. Maybe buy a gift and say, Oh, I came to appreciate you. I'm gone, I'm, 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 I'm done. But you are not a YouTube friend, that's why we can be friends and not be on YouTube. Yeah, for they a don't long time. see us mm -hmm. together on YouTube. Uh, we can be friends and not be on YouTube for a long time. We are now like sisters, and the reason why. Sometimes I tell you calm down. It's not because I don't agree with what you are saying. It's because I understand that sometimes you have to learn how to be diplomatic. Okay. And you you need to be alive to fight the next battle. So I should learn to mind my business. No, not not <laughs> to mind your business. Not a matter of minding business. You can say things, and the way you say it, you be very diplomatic, and you still hit the point. Right. Sometimes aggression doesn't change anything. 
Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's just like um, if you want to. That's why we, we we call for peaceful protests. Okay. Peace. That's why we use the word peaceful. peaceful. Mm. We can be protesting, but in an aggressive way, and it wouldn't change anything. But we can be peaceful and still dialogue. We still have a dialogue. So that's why I always tell you those times that. Me, I'm happy now that you have calmed down. Ah, Lily, I've calmed have down. Have I really calmed down? Lily, I've calmed down before. Lily will come on the channel. Niger this oh, is... Hey, hey. No, when you say you... When I... Anytime I do... This is, is a, a reaction re video. <laughs> yeah, I think I was just overreacting. I was fighting um, for Ghanaians. Thinking I'm doing the right thing. I, I swear. Tell her, mm. I used to tell her to calm down. And I'm someone that... I'll try to understand people from their point of view. Mm. If not... I will if I'm someone that just take up decision, I'll say, ah, mm. if this lady hates Nigerians, I mean she hates me. No, 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 mm. no. I tried to come close yeah, to Yeah, I don't you hate too. Nigerians. I, I tried, hate those Nigerians okay. that have the habit of putting other people okay. down because I tried to come close yeah. to you to hear your roots. It is important. Do you understand? Your your experiences are different from mine. My experiences the are different. Camera from yours. Off. Mm. Uh, your, my experiences are different from yours. So it is important that you, I understand from your point of view. I know how to mm. penetrate a hair. So me trying to tell her to. I've calm not down. really calmed down. Not I don't know what she's saying. No. It's this not girl, by <laughs> This girl will be Lily, all right. Calm down, Lily. Calm down. Summer. I've sometimes not when she's down, shooting no. some videos, I will just block my ear. <laughs> I know how you. Like that day you came and say, but you didn't say anything in this video now. Calm down. Not be like this. Not be like this. Calm down. But yeah, that's it though. I have not calmed down. It's because they have calmed down. Anyways, but I don't know how I'm going to react from now onward. Mm. Like from then, I wouldn't say right now. From then onwards, I don't know. Mm. But I have not really. I don't think I've calmed down though. Hey, I dude. still give my opinion now. You like? No, no. I I know what I am saying. Lily of before. <laughs> Lily of. I've not changed. Don't mind how mm. anybody that Anyways. comes. For my Ghana go call, I will squeeze your neck. <laughs> thank you for coming to thank the you, channel. Thank okay? you for having me. I appreciate mm. it. I so, really appreciate I think people need to see her every week so they yes. don't ask me of buffet. Yeah. <laughs> will you people be giving me, me I and All the people I've made content with, I don't have issues with any except for a particular Nigerian YouTuber, a guy. Mm. Like, I've always, in the, I've always said it that you. I've always said this. It was public, you know? But when people see somebody once on the channel and they don't see that person again, they feel, you they feel like you have issues and already they just like tag you like a troublesome person. Trouble and this is why I'm slow. A lot of people like want to partner. Oh, Lily, please. I'm in Ghana. I want to. Oh, yeah, I don't want because when I bring you tomorrow, you know, come again. Because people, people expect you to continue to come. We have but our lives to happen live, like yeah. That. And it's I start to look like so. Please don't come. I don't have strength. <laughs> Case closed. She will agree. Anyway, uh, I, I know they do collaboration again. Except I, I get paid for. So thank Big you guys. Girl. <laughs> thank you so much for um, watching this video. Thank, thank you. you so much for watching this video, guys. guys. Check Buffet out. I'm going to tag her on this post. All right. Check her channel. Subscribe to her channel. And uh, what again do I want to say? Guys, please subscribe to Lily Ogini's channel. Please turn on the bell notification because she's going to give you back to back to back. To back. <laughs>